Andy Thompson here, and I'm back with Word on the Street. We're talking about education once again here because there's been a lot going on in education in the city of Boca Raton. At a recent city council meeting, school board member Frank Barbieri shared some breaking news. That was that just that day, on April 23rd, the school district had decided that Addison Meisner, one of the best schools in town, but one that desperately needs to be rebuilt, is going to be rebuilt at its current location. Over the past few months, there had been a lot of discussion about potentially moving Addison Meisner to a portion of Sugar Sand Park. And that idea, while at first it generated some support, had a few roadblocks. And one was there was a lot of people, a lot of parents nearby Addison Meisner that wanted to keep Addison Meisner where it was so that they could walk there. That makes sense. And also there were folks nearby Sugar Sand Park that weren't so keen on having a school right nearby. And third, there was parts of the city who have very grave concerns about dedicating park space or parkland to anything besides just a park. So all of those roadblocks added up to make it difficult for the superintendent and for the school board to move forward with any kind of deal involving a school move, the Addison Meisner School being moved to Sugar Sand Park. So as a result, it's going to stay right where it is. And the school district actually has been working to get more space there at the Addison Meisner location because one of the concerns was when the school gets rebuilt, they didn't necessarily think they had enough room to build the size of the school that would be necessary to accommodate the additional students that are going to be here in Boca Raton. But they're working to solve that problem too because a few of the homes that are right nearby Addison Meisner are being purchased or in the process of being purchased or will eventually be uh, obtained through the process of eminent domain. So there will be additional acreage there at the Addison Meisner location to allow for a larger building to be built. And so here's how the process is going to work. The new school, the O5C school right next to Don Estridge is going to be built pretty soon. It's going to be done by the year 2020. And when that happens, there will be space to move the Addison Meisner students to there while their school is being rebuilt because regrettably Addison Meisner at the moment doesn't have enough space there to build a second building on the same piece of land while also deconstructing and breaking down the old one. So what they're going to do is they're going to move all the students to O5C when it's ready. Then they will begin the process of rebuilding Addison Meisner and then by the time that gets done around the, maybe 2021 or 2022 the Addison Meisner students which had been going to O5C can then go back to their local neighborhood school at Addison Meisner. So this will make a lot of parents very happy knowing that the wonderful school at Addison Meisner will stay exactly where it is. And until next time, I'm Andy Thompson, and this has been Word on the Street.